Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more of Dragon Guard 3. I went back, completed verse 2, found a treasure chest that was actually really easy to find. If I just looked at the camera while I was walking down the path, I would have seen it easily, but oh well, I got it. It was pretty easy. And in doing so, I got to level 5, and I got another trophy for that. So let's start verse 3, the ocean ruin. Uh, before that, shoot, I, sorry. Need to adjust my glasses. Um, let's try upgrading. I know eventually I'm gonna have to upgrade all of them, but let's try upgrading you. He's now level two. Ooh, these get prettier as they get upgraded. You know what? I don't really spend money on items, so let's do this. Ah. Oh, so this goes from a small to a medium again. Shoot, I shouldn't have upgraded this. Aw, oh, dang it. Oh well, for next time. Um, let's try changing weapons. So this is only power 24. 55 and 36. Let's try this. I hope I do not regret you. I have a feeling like I will. Um, what kind of items can I buy? Strength? Oh, strength potions and defense potions. I totally forgot I had those. Uh, sure, let's buy one. But I don't have a lot of money, so... Um, no, I'll just save it again. I could just reload. But I figure I already made my choice. I'm not going to go back on it now. And I can always... Always level up the sword after this mission. Ah, oh, but having another medium range sword... At a super high power would have been nice. Oh, well, this will give me a chance to experiment with the big sword. Although I think I'm gonna do terribly now. <sighs> so what are the other weapons? It was poles, chakrams, and... I don't remember the last type of weapon. Oh, it's not that slow. Yeah, I was just wondering if there was treasure just back here. No, I'm hungry for blood. Ooh. I do not like magnets. They're freaking disgusting, dude. Oh, but Mikhail eats maggots. Please don't eat maggots. They're disgusting. Okay. Also, it's super helpful to have this general map on, because then I can see where I have to go. But if I want area-specific things, I could just press all 3 again. But I like the overall map. Oh! All of the map songs! There are variations of the intoners theme! Oh, I did not notice that. I'll have to test this theory out when I play, when I keep playing and I meet each of the different Intoner sisters. Did you drop items? Did you, can you stop? Ooh! Hello, dude. Ooh. No complaining. It's so fun! Please, just get behind him. Maybe if I locked onto him, it would have been easier to get behind him. Ugh. I also love destroying these things, because they get free experience. And in the end, it's not that much, but hey, whatever experience helps, right? Wow, they die in one hit now. Cool. Yeah, I realized that I don't have to keep... Wait. There's a jumping thing. That means there must be something down here. Yeah! Gold. And boxes. I realized that I keep spamming the attack button, even though they're already dead. And I know that helps for combo hits, like, counts, but... You know, if I don't really care about the combo, then I'll have to keep pushing it. Ugh, get up. And then I could just move on. Nothing up here. Down we go. 
Defeat the enemy soldiers. Well, they're kind of just being blah down here, so. Oh, they're like so scared, but they're trying to protect their intoner. And ow, oh, I got hit a lot that time. Ooh, it's because there's archers aiming for me. And they're using their strong attacks. Okay! Oh, bye. Uh, what's taking you so long to attack again, dude? What was with that lag? What the heck? I was pressing the attack button and she just stood there. No bueno, no bueno. What is this loading to? Ooh, checkpoint. Don't matter because I'll get healed. Five is probably all the way inside the shrine where she's safe. She wouldn't come out here for no reason. And I thought that this long sword, that this heavy sword, would be slow. And it kind of is. You get less combo hits. But it's not too slow that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm dying so hard. It's not- oh wait, I don't get healed from checkpoints. So then what is the checkpoint for? Tricked me. Also, I should be on the lookout for treasure chests. No? No. Watch, it's gonna say I missed another one. I'm gonna be sad. Um... Ouch. Ooh! Friendly fire! Ooh! Moving out of the way! Oh, Ooh! Moving out of the way! Well, you guys can stay there. Move out the way. Move out the way. You blew your own guy up. Move out the way. Move out the way! Is it gonna continue even though all of them are dead? Okay, that means I'm gonna have to move on. Whoop! Did I get the two? Okay, I got the two. Okay, I should be safe from the cannon fire in here. But man, I didn't get to destroy the uh, barriers. Oh well. Oh my gosh, it's continuing from here too? What the freak? You smell disgusting! Go cart this stuff with rotting fish. How do you stand to be around him then? Staying out of the light. We are finding out. Haha! <laughs> there we are, treasure chest. I will get blown up for the sake of treasures! Wait, is there anything here? Nope. Yes! All chests found! Oh, that's another thing I have to be careful of. Even if I have the money to level up my weapon, I might not have the materials. So I have to be careful about which weapon I want to upgrade first. Ah, uh, game, why are you making me think so much? I just want to hack, my, hack and slash my way into it. Surprise, dudes! Yeah, see, I, I finished hitting the attack button a long time ago and she was still attacking. Is this what the pe people meant by like frame rate dropping? Just slow responses? Because I'm starting to feel it. I don't think it's affecting me too badly though, it's just whatever. Like, I don't remember the near games being particularly hard. So this shouldn't be too bad either? Please, I don't want to do air battle yet. I don't want to do air battle yet. Okay, I reached the end. What's happening now? Ugh! It's air battle! The thing I didn't want. I don't know the controls. 
Okay. When flying, you gradually lose altitude. Press X to flap your wings and ascend. Press square to fire a breath attack. Okay. Ooh, I kept flapping. I was like, why am I continuing to go up? Whoop. Whoop, I'm losing altitude. Why'd you just stab me? So I destroyed all the cannons. Where am I going? Press triangle while flying to perform a powerful charging attack that costs them to use. Um, oh, I don't have any stamina. I was like, why is the charge attack not working? Ooh, I'm losing altitude! Press triangle. Is it dead? Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Why? I'm gonna have to get used to the flapping thing. Because sometimes you want to be low, but then if you get too low, you're just like, oh no, now I'm stuck and I'm just like... Cannon fodder. But the attacks aren't too different from when you're on ground, so that's a good thing. I thought it would be like a completely different set of controls. But I am gonna have to get used to that charge attack thing, because I keep forgetting it takes up stamina to do that. Mission complete. I bet I did terribly because I took a lot of damage. Damage taken 93. Oh, not bad. Level 6! Maybe leveling up to 30 won't be bad. Got money, got monies, and I got copper based material. And so, whew, Pink Stone Pilgrimage. No. <laughs> Not doing any more of your quests until I get higher level. Because then I'm ensured that I will pass it. But yeah, this is fun! I thought it would be harder to <clears throat> oh, excuse me to do this, but this is really fun. Um, probably because everything is so easy right now. Yes. Holy crap! Hundred nineteen thousand hundred gold. But look at the power that it goes up to. Oh my gosh! And it takes a silver material. So the, okay, so I guess this game monitors which weapons you're using and how powerful you are. I'm going from a long to a medium, but that's fine. Because I think it'll be faster. I wish I could read the, um, the weapon stories. Yeah, I can't read them. Uh, let's see. See the progress. So can I only read the weapon stories from the title screen then? Yeah, because this is just control the settings and chapter select I don't think goes to the database. So chapter zero is... Chapter zero was the whole introduction. And then I do have all the DLC chapters that I will play at the end of the game. Because, again, I don't know that much about the intoners. And I know that these are prologues, what happens before the game. But I don't want to like totally spoil myself with who these girls are yet. And I feel like this will help explain their characters. And so after you fight them, just looking through Zero's path, you'll be like, Oh dang, no, the girls were actually nice and awesome. Blah blah blah, whatever. Pinkstone Pilgrimage. You can only fight with stores acquired three pink stones. No, I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, what story flow? Okay. Um. Oh, so s no. Actually, no. I do want to return to Mania and you because I want to show the weapon stories this time. So, see, if you go to intro, you go to database, weapons, swords, and I get to read it. So, for example, zeros from the moment I was born. 
There was nothing. That's how I learned that with the name Zero. And then I can't upgrade her sword, so I can't unlock the later stages. But Sinful Scream is an executioner sword that passes merciless judgment on the sinful. He committed a crime. The famine raged. Taxes rose without mercy, and his parents vanished. Soon his siblings grew gaunt with hunger, and for them he took action. He committed a crime. He shared the stolen milk and bread with his five young siblings, allowing himself none. Instead, he simply watched as they devoured the bounty. See, it starts off all nice, warm, and fuzzy, but then something terrible is going to happen, either to him or to his siblings. Okay, Eternal Voice, a sword modeled after a millennium old tree, makes a mournful sound. A visitor? Ah, uh, yes, come hear the song then. The innkeeper and her daughter will greet you warmly. Their food and drink is without compare, and the girl is a feast for the eyes. It's already getting creepy. The girl's song is the best thing about the place. A single listen will drive all your troubles away. Did you know she has a sister? Ah, uh, if only they sang a duet. Welcome back, traveler. It's been a while. Come to see the girls again? You certainly do like them. It's been decades since I first told you of them, and here, and yet, here you are again. So, the traveler got older by like 10, 20, 30 years, and here I am again. The girls? I don't know if it's too far of a stretch, but the girls kinda remind me of Devila and Popola from Nier, because they did sing. They are sisters, and Devila sang in a pub. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to wait for the last thing, last part of the story to see the twist, because there's always a twist. The weapon stories are never happy. Ever. Hmm. Um... Cutscene to gain. Zero finally reaches the shrine and seas. Built on the remains of an old arena, but five is waiting and uses her song to summon the angel Fanuel. So, I will encounter five. You know what? I was going to end this episode here, but I'm going to meet five, my first in Toner Sister. So, let's go. Begin the mission? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just glad I'm not getting super dizzy while playing this game anymore, because after the first two episodes, I was like, oh no, it's going to take me such a long time, I'm going to have to take such long breaks between them. But this is... this is doable. Like, I'm not feeling dizzy or sick at all. If anything, the only reason why I'm feeling dizzy is because I haven't eaten yet today. So after this, I think I'll take a break. And hopefully I do well. そうだね、ファイブ。歌で洗脳されたザコ共に囲まれた王女様気分はどう? あの頃のお姉様は。There's <laughs> Oh man, her outfit colors are so cool. But she is a little weird. The translations aren't too off either. And now she's gonna sing. But who's the little- who is that? Cause his outfit is cool too, I like it. You know. He wasn't there in the beginning of the game. 
I love this song. I think this is my favorite song out of all the sisters. Oh my gosh. No, it's gonna be an air battle. But listen to that song! Defeat this tacky SOB! <laughs> Ooh. Attack him, attack him, attack him, attack him, attack him! What the heck? I was pressing square and triangle. No, attack him, attack him. Triangle! Woo! No, I, I got it out of the way! I I don't know where I'm dodging. Get him! Oh, listen to that song. It sounds so cool. Use my claws to get him out of the water. How he's Oh, what the heck? Why did you lock off him? Go, triangle. Oh my gosh. Why are you not using your Strong attack! Well, yes, but you said to get my claws to get him to come out of the water. I don't understand. I barely hit this dude. What the heck is happening? I don't understand this battle. What is happening? You said to get my claws to get him to come out. This is not going well. And I'm hurt, like, so much. Okay, just, just spam, attack, spam, spam, spam. I press triangle! What the heck? Now what am I doing? That's what I have to do. I just have to normal attack him, and then when this symbol comes out, I have to use my strong attack. Get him up on the land. Press... Okay, thank you. What is happening? What was that? That sounded like demon chanting! Attack him, attack him, attack him! Triangle! Triangle! Triangle again, triangle again, triangle, come on! Go, get closer to him, get closer, get closer, intoner mode! I can't intoner mode? Okay, fine. Oh, I got him! Oh, thank goodness I figured it out! I did not un- from lust to dust. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I ended your song so quickly. But I'm glad I managed to figure it out. <laughs> this concert has been deemed inappropriate for pretty much everyone. Please stand by. Oh my gosh. They kind of look like the... um, What is it? The Taiko Drum Master icons. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! How? I mean, she doesn't look as bad as when Zero's covered with blood, so I don't know why- Oh my gosh! Her- Oh! What? Half- Wait, you sliced her? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Abuse? 
This audio has been deemed inappropriate for human consumption. Please stand by. Oh my gosh. His voice sounds like Fukuyama Jun. Wow. The heck? How do you forget her name? Why did you forget her name? Wasn't he her sidekick? He said that she worked into the bone. He he was clearly working for her. She was mistreating him? Shining nucleus, awesome, that sounds delicious. Copper based material. Dito became my disciple. Yoroshikune. So he knew my name because, uh, obviously, when I was talking with Five, he heard it. But had, why did he forget Five's name? Also, that was a pretty easy battle. I'm sad I didn't get to fight Five herself. I said I had to. She got a dragon too. When, in the beginning of the game, it was only... What's-her-face? Twisted Hunger, awesome. In the beginning of the game, it was only me and one that had a dragon. And now five. So do all the sisters have... Okay, Dito Spears, a mature, perceptive man with an extreme cruel streak. He derives great joy from the pain screams of his prey. I need at least three disciples in order to change party members. So I will get more. But, oh man, this game it really likes to mess with your head because he looks like such a sweet, innocent kid. But then if you read his character description, he derives great joy from the pain scream of <coughs> Whoa, I don't know why my throat is getting weird. Pain screams of his prey. That means he's messed up. Dang. Um, anyways, let me try upgrading my spear. 4,500! But the power goes up way much. Well, actually, my sword isn't all that strong, so I think it's okay if I don't upgrade my spear yet. Do I want to upgrade this? Yeah, let's just upgrade it. Might as well. Ooh, they do get so pretty later on, though. Um... Okay, well, this was super mind-blowing. Uh, it was super shocking, also. What the heck just happened? It just seemed like so fast that there was this whole build-up to fighting my sister. But then I only did... I only did... what the heck. Um, let's go to chapter select. Yeah, I'm already on chapter 2. And how many verses? I did 1, 2, 3 verses, and then it was my sister fight. But these weren't too terrible? There's gotta be something more to this. I thought this game would be longer. Requests, DLC... There's gotta be something. Story flow... I don't think it's just going to be a linear thing. But then why would the chapters be so short? Because I feel like for each sister we're going to get a chapter. I don't know, I'm so intrigued, I'm so excited to keep playing this. I'm just like, mess me up even more. Like all those cutscenes when Zero was beating up Five, when she was stabbing Five, and then when Dito was beating, kicking her. Like, little things like that. They play with the viewer, but then also, like, character, archetypes, stereotypes that just blow you out of the water. Yeah, I'm just really excited to continue playing. 
but I'm gonna end this episode here. I went on a little longer than I originally planned. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.